which has a aluminum plate mounted to the bottom, which then connects to the health care device through another aluminum plate, which was glued on with a sort of a thermal compound health care device connected. The object of this experiment was to figure out how efficient these peltry devices were for moving, in this case, uh, heat into a liquid of water, which was, there's only 100 milliliters of water in the cup. Um, took the initial temperature with a candy thermometer. It's not very accurate, but it's you know, within one degree Celsius, which was fine for the experiment. Uh, voltmeter to measure the input voltage. Use this for the current measurement, and then a timer to time in seconds how long it would take to raise the water temperature. Over here we got our power supply. Um, we are ready to roll, it looks like. So I'm gonna kick it on. So for, um, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, the fan turned on. And yeah, there's our current, right around 7.7 .7 amps. Voltage, 11.12 volts, and here I've written down, I've already done this experiment, and I can't really zoom in on that, um, some numbers about the calculations I did, how long I took the average of the, the current and voltage over the time, and how long I was applying power to this experiment, and then I waited a little bit for the heat to soak out of this device into the cup to get the full temperature differential, did the calculations, and we find out that the coefficient of performance for this peltry was about 2.6, which took um, 51,000 joules of energy put into the water, but it only required 19,800 joules of energy to do that, which means we have more efficient heating than just using a resistive type heating. What was not done in this experiment, though, is measuring the temperature differential um, performance, like as this thing gets really cold on one side and hot on the other side, it will not be as efficient. I didn't take that into account, I just ran it from 22 degrees Celsius to 46.5 degrees Celsius, just to get kind of a baseline for that differential. And as you can see, the, the amps do drop a little bit and the voltage does rise a tiny bit over the experiment, so that's why I took the average over time. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, these Peltry devices are more efficient than than you might think, and thank you. Hello everyone, 